Hello, I present Scott Addict 20 in size large from 2022. Well, maybe at least that's what left of it, because its owner made a lot of upgrades. Addict belongs to category of road endurance bikes and has a comfortable geometry, especially designed for longer trips. For 2023, Ultegra Group Set was replaced with Electronic 105 and the price of bike increased to over 3600 euros. Luckily, there is also a version 30 on regular 105 for 2800. Of course, its frame and fork are made of carbon, which has a big advantages such as low weight, high stiffness and possibility of shaping the frame according to needs, but also serious minuses like high price, which does not always go hand in hand with quality, and the most important to me, why I had carbon frame only once and I won't buy such a thing never again, is very low resistance to mechanical damage. Here you can see how derail your cage made hole in chainstay tube. Of course, it has been professionally repaired and there is almost no sign of damage, but after it, frame is no longer on warranty, and since it was not a material defect, Scott rejected owner application. Addict 20 is very well equipped, Scott installed full Shimano Ultegra R8000 group set, carbon seat post and aluminium synchros cockpit, for which owner bought a very expensive, dedicated Garmin mount. Now, after changing tires to Continental GP5000 in size 32C, wheels for carbon positrons, built by the most famous Warsaw wheel builders from Dandy Horse, it weighs 8.5 kg. Thanks to these changes, bike is now like a small rocket, but not everything is so colorful. Recently, I had two more new Scots to review, Matrix and Speedster, and in their cases, there was something wrong with stock wheels, which in this bike did not even have a chance to present themselves, because they were immediately replaced. But Synchro's saddle remained, and after half a year, it caught a very big slack on its rails. Of course, it's just a saddle, so small thing, but three new, not cheap bikes, and there was something wrong in each of them, for me it's strange. However, I will point out that the main components like frame and fork are very well made and have a beautiful paint job with a slightly visible carbon structure and color changing stickers, which I always like. This particular addict is not only for taking photos for Instagram. Bike is used all year round, even in winter, and so far it made over 4000 km and bottom bracket and headset still works fine, and that's what really matters. The only parts are missing for perfect happiness is carbon handlebar and probably in the future current Ultegra will be changed to some electronic group sets and cranks to some equipped with power meter. I don't think there is anything more to add in here. Oh no, I forgot about this Garmin connected with rear light equipped with radar to warn of oncoming cars. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!